Okay, so this is another problem that involves the Cartesian product. We're going to work with the sets A, B, and C. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that the Cartesian product of A with B diff C is equal to the Cartesian product of A and B differenced with the Cartesian product of A and C. So we're going to show that these two sets are equal to each other. Again, when showing the set equality, often what we do is two proofs. The left side is a subset of the right side, and the right side is a subset of the left side, and that establishes set equality. So that's how we're going to break this problem down. So we're going to start off by choosing an arbitrary element of the left-hand side set. So we're going to choose an arbitrary element in the set A, Cartesian product with B, diff C. So the Cartesian product is a tuple X and Y. If X and Y is really in this set, that means that the first coordinate X has to be an element of A, and the second coordinate y has to be an element of the second set. In this case, the second set is b diff c. So by choosing this arbitrary element, this implies that x is an element of a and y is an element of b diff c. Well, what does it mean for y to be an element of b diff c? Well, that means that y is in b and y is not in c. So at this point, we've established that for an arbitrary element in the left-hand set, x is in a, y is in b, and y is not in C. So if x is in A and y is in B, that means that the tuple x comma y is in the Cartesian product of A and B, because that's just how Cartesian products are defined. First coordinate goes with the first set, second coordinate goes with the second set. So x and y, or the coordinate x, y, is an element of the set A Cartesian product with B. Also, since we know that x is in A and y is not in C, then we know that x and the, the pair x, y can't be an element of A Cartesian product C. If it was an element of A and C, we would need x in A and y in C, but since y is not in C, then x comma y cannot be an element of A Cartesian product with C. So at this point we've established that x comma y is in A cross B, and x comma y is not in A cross C. Well, that's exactly the definition of being an element of the set A cross B differenced with A cross C. You have to be an element of the first set, and you can't be an element of the second set. So we started with an ele arbitrary element in A cross B diff C, and we've shown that that element is also in A cross B differenced with A cross C. So at this point, we've established that the first set is a subset of the second set. Okay, let's do the other part. Let's choose an arbitrary element for the right side. So let's let x comma y be an element of a cross b differenced with a cross c. What does it mean for us to be an element of the set? Well, that means that x comma y has to be an element of a cross b. It has to be in this first set, and it cannot be in the second set, because that's what it means to be in the difference of these two things. So let's look at the first thing here. If x comma y is in a cross b, by the definition of the Cartesian product, that means x has to be an element of a, and y has to be an element of b, because that's how Cartesian products are defined. From the second line there, x comma y not an element of a cross c. Well, how would I be not an element? That can happen two ways. If I'm not an element, that means that x is not in a, or y is not in c. If x comma y was an element of a cross c, we know that that means x is in y and y is in c. So to be not an element, it can be not an element in either one of two ways, x not being in a or y not being in c. But we've already established from our first um, quality there, x comma y is an element of a cross b, that x is in a. So x not in a is not an option. That's not a legitimate choice. So for x comma y to be not an element of a cross c, it must be the case that y is not an element of c. So at this point we've established that x is in a, y is in b, and y is not in c. So if y is an element of b and y is not an element of c, that by definition means that y is an element of the set b diff c. So we have x is an element of a, and y is an element of b diff c. So if we continue, what does this mean? Well, that means that the Cartesian product, I'm sorry, that the tuple x comma y is an element of a diff b cross c, because that's just how Cartesian products are defined. 
x has to be an element of the first thing, y has to be an element of the second thing. Here the first thing is the set a, the second thing is the set b diff c. So we have now that x comma y is an element of a diff b cross c. So we started off with an arbitrary element in the set a cross b difference a cross c, and we've concluded that x comma y is an element of a difference b cross c. So this means that our first set is a subset of this last set. So we've done both things. From part one, we established this subset relationship. From part two, we've established this subset relationship. So each is a subset of the other. So this means that these sets are actually equal to each other. And all we've done here is use the definition of a Cartesian product and the definition of a set difference to do this proof.